Beth at 69. I just told myself, you've got to will this one in there. Whatever you have, just will it in there. This man is unbelievable. This is what athletes live for. This is the moment. Hola amigos de MX Disc Golf, bienvenidos. Esta es una cobertura especial del Chess.com Invitational, el primer torneo del Disc Golf Pro Tour en el 2024 desde Brooksville, Florida. Este es un torneo patrocinado por Discraft y es en el campo de Olympus DGC, campo que antes era The Grand Canyon y recientemente lo compró Paul Macbeth. Junto con un beisbolista que se llama Dylan Seas. Y entre ellos dos compraron la propiedad ya que antes ese campo era solamente temporal. Conocido como el Throw Down the Mountain. Entonces ahora que compraron la propiedad es 100% de disc golf. Y han hecho unos cambios muy grandes. Solamente quedan tres hoyos como los originales. Y ahora vamos a tener tipas nuevos que son de mucha más alta calidad que los que había antes. Queremos recordarles que si no están inscritos al Disc Golf Network, háganlo porque ahí es donde van a poder ver las rondas completas. Esto es solamente un pequeño resumen y el día de hoy les tenemos la primera ronda de Anthony Varela. Todo este video está disponible gratis en YouTube. Today, yeah, it's a bit of a drop off behind that basket, so going after a circle two putt there is going to be tough. If you give it your full go, it might just go down the hill. If you miss, this seems to be the preferred action here at hole one, the sidearm play, Anthony Barella. Yeah, the pin's definitely tucked off to the right at the end up there, and uh, sidearm or lefty shot is, is a better choice, but he didn't get it quite far enough. Rises and falls, and they made it really flat over there, so it's more like a parking lot now. Barella! Whoa! That's one way to start the season. Circle two banger for AB. It's a different feeling, but also a great feeling. It's a fantastic yeah, feeling. Job, yeah. A little step through, right oh, in the heart wow. of the chains, nice and low. Four that shirt on that one too, Ken? Sure. Yeah. AB on two. Really tight off the tee here. The biggest mistake is to grip lock it, make it go right. There's a fence on the right, which you could go immediately out of bounds with. Back to minus five. There's one opportunity left. You just talked about that 17 is going to be a difficult one to get past clean. Yeah, I think that one's going to average over par for the for the MPO field. Barella showing off both sides on hole two. Goes to the forehand. Towering sidearm. That was up there. Does it fight? That looked low on the hill. Made a little better than we thought there. See, look, if he's 10 foot to his left, if he's just do it a bit farther, too far, you're into this thick woodsy area. And there's only about a 20 foot area to his right that's open. And then on the other side of that is more woodsy area. Two for two from circle two for Anthony Barella. What a way to start the season. Pretty spot on to me. And yeah. back to A, B on three. This hole drops off seriously about 100 foot off the tee. Big chasm down there. And there's a little access road that you kind of want to be in. The and after a fantastic drive, Barella throwing two. This is position A, the mayor's office. Exactly, you want to be off the tee. And don't get on the right side of that hill because it can kick away. Oh. Granted. And AB, can he drain another one? Of course he can. That was closer than it looked from the other uh, it, it angle, was. other camera. AB looked like he was right on the edge. Backdrop on there. Yeah, got that drop off to worry about. Barella has started three for three. Can he keep it going? He's going he over doesn't the top like that. on hole four. And there is. All sorts of stuff. But he's gonna he's gonna have to take the the high line here, which has to fly up over this ridge and then cut back down to the right off the ridge where the basket is. The overstable approach got yeah. close. Found Ish. a sawgrass yeah. clump, which is looks like it's near one of the circles. Yeah, okay, one of the near the bullseye. But All right. if he off the grid, oh Barella, fortunate to straddle this one out for a oh. look. Got just to the edge of that clump, but. Boy, if this hit the rim, it can go a long ways. This is start steeply downhill steeply. and steeply downhill beyond the basket. Anthony Barella sees his way to another one. Fantastic putting for Anthony Barella. Stay there for Thomas Gilbert. They are giving him a double. Interesting. A.B. A.B. 
Yeah, he had to pitch back up because he never made it inbounds on the far side, right? So he had to <clears> throw that, that sh drive that hit some branches and dropped early in the fairway. Barella, the jump putt approach. We'll work for a drop in. Wow, that is so much greener than last time. Seems like the wind is just not allowing the disc to make these turns. Just mm -hmm. wind has other ideas today. Barella. Hole six. This hole's very strange. It, it, it seems like you have to act like you're aiming. Lovely drive. Through that tall pine off in the distance, you want to be maybe just inside that with this sidearm. Looks Breaking like right. That's the line he threw it on. We'll see how the finish goes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right in front of the bucket there. Barella. That was a lot closer than what it looked like. Yeah. Well inside circle one for AB. Oh, sit. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Basically the same exact putty head. See that flag waving the in the Achilles background That's the Achilles heel, hasn't it been? The inside the circle, 20, 25. That's mm. the time. Line it up. Do your routine. All right, good save. Yep. Mm. That would have been an awesome birdie to see. That was a good look at it, too, inside mm. the circle. A, B, T of seven. One of the easier holes on the first first nine here. It's uh, got one basically one tree to beat out there and then skip to the pin. See, that's the tree you got to beat. Early left. That was seemingly the more difficult of the two options, wasn't it? <laughs> that turnover versus the straight up hyzer down yeah. the right side. See if yeah, I think you can get more distance going that the way he went to me. A little early right, maybe. Back to eight. A little soft. Barella. How do you like this option here at the eighth? I really like it because it, it takes that branch out of play. You can go underneath. I mean, he was a little wide. He was just a little wide left there. He can knock this one in. Has missed his last couple of opportunities to score birdies. No reason not to give this one everything because there's a little backstop right behind it. Straight uphill behind it. You can't go too long. Bang. And in it goes for Anthony Barella. Perfect. The whole way. To save. Wait, that no, should be hole eight. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, no, that's a, that's a birdie. That's, that's a birdie on hole eight. It's a birdie. It just wasn't on the, it wasn't the scoring showing. is, they'll, they'll update it here yeah. in a second. No, they weren't even showing a score for hole eight, so. Uh, it's got to be. Well, they have him putting stripes for par right now. Weird. From the wind or something, tried to throw down for it to get a little air, air lift up and it's never happened. Well, this is the one area of the course. There's a bit of a high ridge off to his right, maybe 100 yards to his right, which is blocking a little bit of that wind that's coming in. That. And you can see that everything's not blowing around here as crazily. This this is a little bit more sheltered Oof. from the, so that the that, relief that's, marker. That's the relief marker line, Copy. I believe, because it's super steep there. You yeah, can't yeah. stand there. You won't even see the basket. Yeah, so it's, it's probably impossible to anyway. even stand. It's so steep there, so they give them a free relief from that area there. I'm sure it's a little dangerous too with yeah. all that loose rock and gravel and. You could Chew yourself up pretty good trying to fool around in there. Wise decision from the tournament directors. I don't know if there's one specific spot you go to or you just take it in line with the disc. I imagine you'd take it in line. You know, you're in line with the disc. That's what it seems yeah. Anthony Barella's doing. Brought yeah. it down a meter and giving himself a solid bit of footing. Not it the best, but better. The fair way to go about it because why should you have everybody shooting from the same spot when they're just And it's going to get more spot. eroded then as right. well. You know? right. Smart right. stuff. Yeah. There you go, Anthony yeah. Barella. We'll tap in left. Formality putt. I, like it. Will. I still like it. Even though he's putting towards a bit of a drop off, I still like it. It's this this is a really demanding hole. Barella. As you can see there's a drop off to the right, there's a drop off to the left, there's a low ceiling, there's trees all the way down. A little remembrance of a hole over at Dela, huh? Yeah. There's a there's a there's a big depression as you get about three quarters of the way to the hole, and then there's a big back up to the basket which sits on a plateau. That's a flirting with branches and catches them. Oh, yep, that was. That was nice. <laughs> Kala Kala Visca. Nice recognition. Yeah, you know that guy's walk, don't you? <laughs> a lot of shoulders. Be surprised to see some guys picking up some bogeys here, and it is happening right before our eyes. A lot of pars, but it goes pretty sharply uphill. Pretty short par, par four, Ken. Just a 491. It is fairly short, but it's technical, and the second shot is, like I said, it's steeply uphill, so it plays a little longer than its footage. Barella. Did I read the wrong number, five? Hello. Oh, no. no. I, we've I been, think it's 587. 587? Okay. He's got to look. He's got to look for sure. You saw it Looks skimming like in there right. towards the edge of the circle. Okay. Barella, much better position. Yeah, this one's right in the middle of the fairway. 
That was the right pace, too. Asking for it to get down. Wow. He tried to throw that in. Almost got to the bottom of the bucket. Ooh, looking the same a thing. Tricky in. Tee shot. It didn't seem really like there's is. much room for error no. here. Coming back up the hill now. A piece. There we go. Gets one to stick. That was one of the worst putts you'll see stick. <laughs> Barely over the. Been one of those days for Calvin. On 12, Barella. This is one of the biggest drops from T to fairway floor at the bottom. I'd say it's a good 75, 80 foot of drop on this hole. Super long carry as well. You're going to need some big air to get close here. Barella for birdie. It's a great drive here. That was one heck of a sidearm to get to this yeah. position inside circle his, one. His sidearm is a weapon. Most Oof. don't have. Yeah, circle one. Oh. A B sees his way to a share of the Wimbley, lead. You know, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Barella. They did open up a right side line. You can see there's a little fairway off the right side of this hole. I'm not sure how it looks. I I, I never saw it. Once was passage through his second. Yeah, throw. he was up there in that next clump of trees, I yeah, believe. Yeah. But he's far enough to the right where he's got a better angle. angle. You yeah. see the two pine yeah. trees there. Yeah. It's a fairly wide gap right there. Get some ground play. Or you could just fire it all the way to the back. I think you can fire it right through there. Yep. Or ideally, your drive ends up more left on this hole if you throw it right down the middle of the hallway. Oh, and he hits the tree. See, so there's a pretty pretty open gap going to put the asphalt uh, down. Okay. <laughs> yep. So that's where a lot of this limestone went was to the interstate systems. A, B, getting there that in go. for a par. That went in over the rim, got him to five, and one more. The next hole. Yeah. Now he is tied for the lead, and here he is live on the box. Hole 14. Oh, This needs my. to get left, right, Ken? Yeah, it's going to be straight into those bushes where you saw Aaron, and that ended up in a really bad spot. Speaking of bad spots, Barella in this sawgrass. How deep did it go, though? Let's we'll have to see. wait and see. Not too deep. I it's thought it was. It looked like it was going to go deeper than that. But still, encumbered, standstill, long way to go, OB line to the left, lots of foliage. Just be smart for him to do something similar to Gossage. Just yeah. get yourself up the fairway and then yeah, get up and down. This guy's to keep turning. It's good. There you go. Yeah. Barella. Out there. That Chris Clemens back there, I yeah. believe. This is a B in the bush. Those fellas are teammates now, right? They can, they can oh, be touching. You're right. Yeah. Is Clemens throwing new plastic this year? I can just craft me. Congrats to Chris on that contract. Manufactured stance, but it looks fairly open. Like the airspace from the under the basket isn't too bad. Yeah. That was a nice spin for maybe. It was keeping it clean. Back towards the right in the fairway. Caught a little brush off the tree there, but. It didn't hurt him much. No, no, no. That's, you're going to brush a tree. You'd rather be brushing on the right side, though, for sure. Gannon's starting to heat up. Uh, Birdie's on the last two. Now two down. Hey, that's that's something. Mm -hmm. That's in the mix today. It's in the mix. It yeah. is. I mean, anytime you're within four of the lead, you a lot of people in the mix. And mm -hmm. you're coming down, you could have 10, 12 guys within two or three strokes coming to the last yeah. nine holes. It could be really interesting. Barella. Also playing for place. Ahead on the same umbrella. Oh, that's a bit longer than I thought. Yeah, just out of the fairway up. still almost. There you go. It's you're all just, good. You know, your your disc tends to do what your hand does or your arm does. Seems like the disc is coming out nice and flat for Mr. Gossage. Yeah, Barella. That looks pretty tasty. It's got to get past that little corner. Oh, yep. my. Perfect. That looks exceptional. That's exactly where you want to be. We saw Kevin Kiefer and Aaron Gossage do keep it on one angle, working its way towards the target at the end. Yeah. An A, B Let's set see. up beautifully. He's in, the, he's in that spot where you've thrown such a good drive. Now you've got to choose. Do I want to go left of these two trees or right of these two trees? Right of them, I'm going with a flex shot. Left of them, I'm going to go with a hyzer skip. You got the flex, but it's not going to flip back and get stable again. What the right side of that basket looks like, it's not, not long. There is some trees and stuff long that you don't want to get to, but to the right side, it's 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 fairly flat over there. Because then you end up in the lake. Yeah. Touchy. Barella. Yeah. There's two, three. Looks like three really good shots there. 
there in the there you hey. go. Anthony Barella threads the needle, slides it into circle one, a few steps past the bullseye, long of the target. He stick. Oh, no. That line on the left-hand side of the basket is right there. I mean, that's inside circle one. Barella for birdie and a two-stroke lead with one to go. There it is. You could tell as soon as that disc comes up to where his eyes are supposed to meet his hand at that from there. And here is the man, Anthony Barella, up on top of the leaderboard trying to get it home. Flawless. I like it shooting that thing. Gotta down. turn over. Ooh. That's gotta turn over. That's gotta turn over. Uh oh. Did he just make a big boo boo on the, the only yeah. drop zone is when on the hill going forward to the to the green. And this is a ways back, let me tell you. Oh, he put a little turnover on this, trying to stall it in there. Oh, oh. no! Disaster on the 18th for AD. Oh no! Does he have to rethrow? I mean, I think he takes a drop zone. Did he get to progress closer? Yeah. I think he takes it to a drop zone up closer to the hill. Uh, I'm surprised he tried to put some turnover on this. We've been saying, man, hey, you got to go one angle up that hill. And he but he's so out far there back, left. though, from where yeah. he was. That's a long way, Yeah, dude. but he throws 700 feet, I man. I know. I know. That's just a <laughs> long way back. It is a long carry. All right. So you've got to throw this in to stay at seven. This conditions are just con it's continuing to get worse as the moment goes on here. Yeah. Well, he's been solid from circle two today. Can he capitalize here? One more stepper to mitigate the double bogey. Okay. Not to be for Anthony Barella. And back to six under par. Five, four out of five birdies. Nearly That's the double turkey. Five out of six, sorry. Five yep. out of the last six to five under. Those are big birdies, too, where people are taking bogeys. Yeah. You know, it's not just a birdie par situation. 